Welcome to Motorboats Monthly's practical section brought to you by Garmin. Today we're going to be looking at changing your fuel filters, both your primary and your secondary. We're also going to be looking at bleeding the fuel system after the filter change. So the first thing we need to do before we do anything is to turn the fuel off. Now your boat should have both primary or pre-filters and also secondary or engine mounted filters. The primary filter here uh, its job is to remove the large particles and also any water that's in the fuel while the secondary engine mounted filter down here removes any fine particles that have got through the first filter. Now there are a number of different types of primary filters. Um, on this boat we have the sort of Lucas or Cav type where you've got a separate filter element with a separate bowl screwed onto the element and a whole lot screwed onto a filter base. Um, many boats also have a rake or c part type where you can access the filter element inside it from the top. To start the job you're going to need to loosen the fuel filter from the base. Now you may need a filter wrench, something like this, or if you're lucky you might be able to undo it by hand, as we can in this case. Now we just need to be mindful that the fuel filter is actually still full of fuel. Now what you can do is you can drain the diesel off by undoing the, the drain at the bottom, or you can do what I do and that's get a sort of diesel proof container like this, hold it underneath, undo the whole lot and just dump it in. You can see some contamination in this one, so uh, that's something we need to keep an eye on. So we just need to remove the clear bowl from the disposable filter element that we can dispose of carefully now. Um, on the filter bowl there'll be an O-ring in here which you'll need to remove and throw away, put a new one in with the fil new filter. Um, there's also another O-ring on the pump body that we'll need to change before we put a new filter on. And then what I like to do now is just give this filter bowl a really good clean out, get rid of all of the crud that's in there so that you're starting afresh with the new filter. So we've got our new filter um, and also our two new O-rings. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of diesel on this O-ring just to lubricate it. So we'll just put that in its in its position down there and then we can uh, screw the new filter to the bolt. And this only needs to be hand tight so we just screw it up till it seats home and then just give it a slight turn like that. So before we bring the new filter over, we are just going to replace the other O-ring which sits on the shaft under here. So we'll remove the old one and then we'll put the new one on there. Like that. If the, this filter is below the level of the fuel tank, you can fill it simply by opening the fuel valve. But on this boat, it's higher. So opening the fuel valve won't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some clean diesel straight into it until it's full up. And then I'm going to screw it straight on in its full position. Um, you do need clean diesel to do this because obviously you don't want to be introducing any contamination into this filter. Um, any a small amount of contamination that you bring is not a massive problem because it will get filtered out by the secondary filter. So that's full of diesel now but before we screw it on I'm just going to put a little bit of diesel on the o-ring now just to, to help lubricate it. And again this doesn't need to be too tight so we just wait till it seats home and then just give it another half turn or so, just hand tight only. So that's the primary filters done. Now we're going to be moving on to the secondary filters. And again, for this, we're going to be needing a filter wrench. So now we've got it hand loose, I'm just going to get in there and unscrew it all the way. But I'm going to put a container underneath again, just to catch any spills. So we've got our new secondary fuel filter. Um, what we need to do is just lubricate that O-ring with a little bit of diesel, like we did on the other one. Now I'm not going to be filling this one with, with clean diesel and the simple reason for that is I don't want to introduce any contamination into this filter that might be bypassed, i.e. it might go straight from the filter into the diesel injector pump. So we're going to put this one on empty and we're going to fill it by following the bleeding process which you'll see later. So fitting this filter is just a case of twisting it on until it seats home and then just giving it another half to three quarters of a turn, hand tight only again. So that's how to change the fuel filters. Now it's important that you as a boat owner understand how to do this, not only because it's part of the annual service regime, but also because fuel filters can often block out at sea. And if you don't know how to change them, you might find yourself without a running engine. Um, changing the filters is only part of the equation though. What you need to do now is to bleed the system to remove any air. And we'll be showing you how to do that in the next video.